Hey there, everybody. Arlos here from Ice Games, bringing you episode 70 of my Star Wars The Old Republic Trooper Let's Play with the T here. Still on Corellia, about to move on to uh, the next uh, area, the government district here. Uh, that's what we got planned for this episode. We need to talk to General Garza and Cole uh, Cantorus to kind of defeat the Empire here. That is, that is the plan. That is what we got going on, guys. So, um, unfortunately, I don't have any comments from the last episode, mainly because I'm recording this episode. Please evacuate Axial Park. Yeah. Evacuate Axial Park. Okay, good. Um, sorry, I'm recording this episode before I posted the last one, uh, just because, uh, that's how the way things work this time, so unfortunately, that's what's going on there, guys, but, uh, if you guys do have any comments from the last episode and this episode, I'll be talking about them, uh, next episode, so thank you guys for that in advance. Um, also, yeah, hopefully we can finish this off, finish off the Trooper, uh, series, or the, the main stories here pretty soon. I'm kind of excited to see what happens here, but uh, let's get going. Whoop, let's go this way. Up on a mount here. I also have to find a um, kind of a uh, solid person here. Yeah, you, you hit here, Stims vendor. You, Stims vendor, you're good. Sell all this stuff that I don't need anymore. Get all of the money. I guess I didn't really need to sell that last one. Uh, this one here. Yeah, this crafting materials. So I'll keep the crafting materials for now. Uh, yeah, sure. Let's get that one. And I kind of like that outfit, so I'll keep that for right now. Just kind of take a look at it. Um, so where are we heading to, guys? We got... Uh, talk to General Garza right here. Nice and easy to get to. Um, also, I've been thinking about getting some different armor for my, uh, oh, I'm going to go this way, uh, for my uh, trooper here. So if you guys have any suggestions, uh, please let me know down below. I'm uh, going to go through and look through all the stuff that I currently have uh, that I've gotten from the cartel market and other things like that. Um, but if you guys have any suggestions on some of your favorite armor sets for a trooper, let me know down below. There we go. I was waiting for it to kick me off there. I'm go this way. And, uh, yeah, I'd love to kind of get your guys' opinions on uh, some of the outfits I could wear for my my trooper here. Let's talk with uh, Garza here. There we go, Garza. Major, good work. Captain Ferris's crews have already touched down with the safe crackers in the 53rd Armored. They're approaching the Bastion now. Our strategy has unfolded perfectly. Now, it's time to put the final phase into motion. Havoc Squad is ready for action, General. Before the full assault can begin, your team must complete two final objectives. The first is to block General Rakton's communications. Once Havoc has placed signal jammers at key locations outside the Bastion walls, we can cut off all comm traffic. Hopefully this will minimize any surprise Imperial backup. Hopefully it will prevent Imperial backup entirely. When the jammers are in position, Havoc can proceed to the second objective, breaching the Bastion gate. The gate is effectively impervious to frontal assault, so you'll need to commandeer an Imperial crawler tank and use it to pass through undetected. Consider it done, General. Scouts have spotted a crawler operating at these coordinates with a minimal escort. It's your best bet. Once you've ridden the walker through the Bastion Gate, you'll secure the gate controls, then contact me via Holo to begin the final assault. Is everything clear? Plant jammers outside the gate, hijack the crawler, secure the gate controls. Clear. Time is tight. That crawler won't be in the field forever. Set your jammers and get there as quickly as possible. Don't let anything slow you down. Dismissed, and good luck. All right, let's do this. Ooh, new armor. Let's accept that. Uh, it's not as nice as the stuff I currently have, but let's take a look at it. That's not bad. Nice little blue tinge to it there. Uh, too bad this one's got a lot better stats, so I'm gonna wear that, but, uh, I don't know. Maybe, maybe a blue armor set wouldn't be all that bad. Oh, we also gotta meet with, uh, Cole, uh, Encanturus. Let's head out here. Where are those jammers? Those jammers are way up here. 
we're just gonna head this way and talk with the the next person we need to talk with but yeah I was taking a look through the cartel market actually let's take a look through here again kind of see if there's anything I kind of like really liked for a trooper for armor uh, I'm making sure I don't miss a turn or anything like that and you know what there wasn't really too too much that's really kind of cool that really caught my eye um, I mean that's more uh, mercenary there it's more kind of like Sith peoples and whatnot. Um, yeah, that one really wouldn't work. That's a little interesting there. Oh, what else we got? I mean, the... Am I not going the right way? I gotta make sure I'm going the right way before I start talking. There we go. No, this way. There we go. Make sure I'm not going the, I'm going the right way. I'm trying to... Trying to look on the screen here. Uh, this one's not so bad. The Recon Trooper. That's not so bad. Uh, I think I already own the Battlefield Commander's Armor set on another character. Uh, so I think it's easy enough to buy. Uh, let's actually do the start by price here. What else is there? Kind of catches my eye. Yes, I know I'm running away from you guys. That's what plan is. This doesn't really catch me. That's a huge piece there. Um, you know, this this armor set here looks kind of cool. Oh my gosh, they finally knocked me down. And this Revan stuff looks awesome. Well, let's take them down then. Alright, as I was just kind of looking. Just kind of looking at armor. Seeing, seeing what we got going on here. Take down some Imperials here. Take down some Imperials. Come on. Fall faster, you fools. Fall faster. Up. We still got our bonus experience going on right now, too, which is nice. Where is that? I'm going to try to over here. They just really take you from place to place to place to place. Lots of lots of, lots of of running around and traveling in this uh, this area. Because, I mean, it would be nice like if they were closer to each other. Make it a little bit easier to get to and stuff like that. But a lot of, a lot of traveling between areas here, which is kind of interesting. I mean, not the worst thing in the world, that's for sure. But, uh... Hopefully I... Again, hopefully I went the wrong, the right way, because, I mean, maybe I had to go down here, maybe it's up here I have to go. That's the thing, is sometimes... Sometimes you pick the wrong direction. No, I picked the right direction. Okay, I guess it looks like either way it would have worked. Well, let's down, head down here and hope that it sends us up north here. Or at least if I had, like, faster mounts or something like that, that'd be nice. So I think uh, I'm 130, 110% of normal speed or something like that. Or 110% faster. Oh, grounded pirate there. It's nice that you can jump with them, though. Gosh, those statues look pretty awesome, though. Alright, so let's head in here. Oh, it's a group phase. Okay. What am I looking for here? Let's rocket boost here. Oh, here you are. Let's talk with you. Good you're here. We've got trouble. You remember Counselor Balos? Captain Kantaris tells me the Republic's on their way here. You can't attack the legislature yet. The Empire's taken control of the Ion Wall, Corellia's most powerful defense system. They're planning to use it against the Republic. How did the Empire get control of the Ion Wall? The Corellian Council offered it to them. Only we had the codes to operate it. You happen to tell them our position and troop numbers, too? But I have the codes. Why not turn it on the Legislature's defenses instead? Won't the Empire expect a counterattack? They've been led to believe it's an impossibility. First, you'll need to point the Iron Wall's emitters at the Legislature. They've been concealed inside statues around Capitol Square. Once the emitters are realigned, the Ion Wall can be activated. The controls are located inside Intracorellian Intelligence. That's the catch. Intracorellian Intelligence was one of the first places the Empire took over. It'll be crawling with Imperials. 
Some Republic troops or a Corsac squad might even the odds. You head over with more than you got, and the Empire will know something's up. Nice and quiet is our best strategy. The Imperials aren't the only danger, I'm afraid. Several members of the Dark Council arrived in Capitol Square a few days ago. One of them, Darth Acheron, was dispatched to Intercorellian Intelligence to keep the Ion Wall safe. You'll have to get past him. How does Darth Acheron fight? I only met him briefly. He has a short temper and a powerful grip. If you can avoid both, you'll live. I should go. There's a secure line from Intercorellian Intelligence to my office. Contact me once you've activated the Ion Wall. The guardhouse is still linked to the legislature. We can't control their defenses, but we can tell when they go down. I'll get Corsic and the Republic into position. The minute you activate the Ion Wall, we attack. Alright, so complete speak with uh, him. So let's uh, get those wall emitters back up. Rocket boost out of here. Or realign the wall emitters. Um, so the iron wall goes back up. And let's actually take a look. Oh, it's really nice and close. Okay, so let's do this. Must be t just be down in the square here. Uh, we might even get a bonus objective for doing it. Oh, boy. Take some fall damage. But not enough to deter me from taking out the Sith here. Whoop. Boom. Knock you back there. Where is my... Dorn, Dorn, where are you, Dorn? There you are, Dorn. Thank you for coming to help me out. Uh, looks like I got a bonus objective to take out 15 troopers here. Let's do some recharging and reloading. One of it's realigned here. Okay, good. <laughs> go. Five troopers down, or five and Imperial forces down already. Does it actually turn something? I don't think so. It just kind of like turns on, doesn't it? Let's grab the items from here, though. I want some my credits. Just right across here. Ah, you know what? Let's take out the, the Dominator too while we can. Oh boy. Oh boy. Stop force stroking me. That's not cool, man. Bank bolt. Oh, you guys look like you want a mortar, mortar strike on top of your heads. There you go. You guys are all down. Oh, that actually looked kind of awesome. Through, through a fire, uh, some shot of fire actually beat them. <laughs> Tech Guardian, no match for me. Right, some monies. About to do our bonus objective. Yay! More experience. I like lots of experience. Always make me happy. Iron wall emitter. That one's up. Now there's two more up on top, it feels like. So let's rocket boost up there. Where are they? Oh, they must be on these statues here. Oh, Sith Dominator. Oh boy. Push you back. Meg bolt. Charge bolt. There you go, you're down. Let's knock you two down by using our ability. Oh my gosh, did I seriously take you out with one shot? I like that. <laughs> You're forgetting the range I have on these weapons. Now I've mentioned that before, but I totally forget about that. I like how this at least, you know, it opens up and does something. Like, well, I wish I could read what it all says. That'd be kind of good. Kind of fun. Oh, well, we got, got a Sith over here. I think. At least some lightsabers floating in midair. It is a Sith Watcher, okay. We're just being sneaky. Can't hide those glowing lightsabers, though. Something you can't hide. Oh, she's even landed on top of it. That's funny. Alright, is the shield back up? The shield wall back up, then? Uh, 
Uh, let's hop on a mount then. Head this way. We have to invade the Inter Corellian Intelligence building. It's gotta be the one right in front of us. Let's take a trip through the water here. Inside this building. Yes, yes. A group phase that anyone can enter. Oh, there's an elevator with a take. There we go. And there we go. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Uh, what are we doing here? Oh, just fighting our way to the government center. Well, let's take some of you guys down when we can. Maybe we'll get another bonus objective here. You never know. Oh, we do. Taking down 25 forces. I thought we might have another one. You guys are all down. Let's rocket boost our way forward. Let's get in the middle of all these guys. Boom! Oh my god, totally misses. Lancer Imperial Droid. Or Imperial Lancer Droid. Come on, Doran. Take out the stronger enemy. To be able to handle it, right? There we go. Those Imperial forces are down. Only, uh, what, 13 more to kill? <laughs> I love border strike from such a distance. That's so good. Alright. Let's throw a plasma grenade out at you. Maybe a sticker grenade. Let's do a mag bolt. Charge bolt. Another mag bolt. Explosions. Let's push it back. Aha! And you're down. Doing almost done our objective here. We'll take the rest of these guys down. There we go. Only six more. <laughs> oh, is that my character laughing? Is that Dorn laughing? I can't actually tell. Either way, it's awesome. I thought I saw another droid sneakily on that side there. Make sure I hit it. Alright, bonus objective almost completed. Alright, let's actually recharge we are recharge and reload a little bit here. Before we take on this Sith. There we go. Mag bolt. Charge bolt. Full auto. Another mag bolt. Another charge bolt there. Sith Stalker. What do we get for that one? Um, 25 to Sith defeated on Corellia. That's 25 down. And one more for our bonus objective. Yeah, one more character? Oh man. We're not gonna get our bonus objective, are we? Oh well. Oh wells. Another chance, my lord. You'll need us. The Republic's agent. Too powerful. I see very few Republic soldiers and a worm making excuses. Soldiers are often more trouble than they're worth. You deserve better from your opponents. Maybe it's time for the Empire to surrender. Military standards mean nothing. You face the Dark Council now. The Republic did well to send you here. If activated, the Ion Wall would disable ships, artillery, even the weapon in your hand. But your contact should have told you that the Ion Wall cannot be destroyed through the controls alone. I'm gonna use it on the Empire instead. Impossible. And you won't live to try. Oh my gosh, we're actually fighting one of the Dark Council Dark Council members. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Come on, Dorn, that we get out this. Come on, another mag bolt here. Take you down. Oh my gosh! You're down pretty pretty easily there. Surprised by that. And you gave me a better um shield generator. Thank you for that. It on the Empire here. I like how it's built into the statues. Oh boy. Oh boy. The Ion Wall's been activated, Counselor. And it worked perfectly. The Empire's scrambling to find reinforcements. Now's your best chance. General Aids is starting the assault. 
Head for the legislature. Catch up with their men inside. Does the Empire have a plan of attack? Without the Ion Wall, all they can do is hit the Republic with everything they have. It won't be pretty. I must go. The Empire's moving the Council to a secure location. No more comm calls. I bet my life on a Republic victory. Don't disappoint me now. We won't, we won't. Alright, we got some boots. Let's accept that. Oh, we even leveled up to level... Did we level up? Oh, my legacy leveled up. Okay. That's what that was. What's a legacy level now? Level 38. Okay, cool. Um, not sure exactly what legacy levels do for us, but maybe something cool. If I can take him... No, I don't have the bonus. I don't even have the bonus objective anymore. Let's just run past you guys. I missed the bonus objective. Oh, well. Oh, boy. You still want to fight anyways. So let's take you out. There you go. You're down. Let's head and take out the legislator. Legislature. Legislature. Words fun. Yeah, I think that's close to one to me, so let's hop on a mount here. Looks like it's up and around over here. So let's see if we can get there from up on this side. Yeah, I knew I could probably skirt around there. It's nice and easy sometimes to like, you know, not break the game, but like, kind of, you know, go to areas, go through areas they probably didn't really want you to do. Stuff like that. Oh, got a public soldier here. What would you like? It was an ambush, General. Imps came through a hidden entrance. Lost our CO, but the cavalry showed up just in time. You've got my thanks. The Ion Wall did plenty of damage. But the Empire's recovering fast. The Corellian Council's shortcuts aren't helping. As long as the Empire has the Council, they have their inside knowledge. We have to find them. Counselor Bela said they were in a secure location. We've gone over the schematics with Captain Cantaris. He's identified a holdout room intended to keep the Council safe in an emergency. Darth Hadra of the Dark Council was their escort. If they're in the holdout room, she'll be in there with them. There's an awful lot of Imperials to get through first. We've mapped out the most direct route. My troops will be drawing a lot of their fire. You have Republic reinforcements, of course. Captain Cantaris is leading his own assault, but assures me his officers will come and call. The Green Jedi has also promised to send who they can spare. How can I reach them if I'm in trouble? Our techs have rigged the legislature's comm stations to connect directly to Republic dispatch. Use them to call for backup. Remember, the Corellian Council is the Empire's ace in the hole. Find them before there are any more surprises. Alright, so let's keep heading this way then. Yeah, keep heading this way. Let's see what's going on down here. Oh, do you have some bunch of Imperials in here? Let's take them down now. Dorn, we got this. Oh, bonus objective to take out 20 of them. Let's see if we can save the cons the council. The council. I keep say I keep wanting to say console for some reason instead of council. Sorry about that, guys. Silly, silly me. Ooh, there's an item in this one. Let's see what we got. We got a helmet. Not a very nice helmet, but we got a helmet nonetheless. Alright, so let's uh, keep taking out some troopers. I'm gonna get this bonus objective. Getting really close to level 65. We get to level 65, there's only five more levels to max level, which is awesome. Then I'm pretty sure at max level you start getting like little supply caches and stuff to use. Oh, I totally missed some of that. I think that's how it works, and those supply caches will have like. Uh, armor and stuff like that. So that's definitely something I want. So we get some better armor. I think that's the best way to, to level up without, or to, to armor up without getting like into operations and stuff like that. Which I eventually plan on doing. And especially if you guys want to play some Star Wars Republic with me. Star Wars The Old Republic with me, I think that'd be a lot of fun. 
you guys are on a different server, let me know. If you guys are still playing the game, let me know. I'd love to play some Star Wars with you guys. I think I'm on the Star Force server right now. This is where I'm playing. Hello, Lord Savik. Well, let's take you down. Take a grenade. Another mag shot. Plasma grenade. Let's electro net you. Most of round. You are down. Didn't take very long. Kind of an interesting helmet thingy there. Got a horn helmet there. That's kind of cool. Make it from you. Some leggings. Nope, not armored enough for me. I'm a, I'm a commando in the. It's war in here. I need trained soldiers. Locating nearest Republic squad. Transmitting your location. Oh, this is going to be good. They were not expecting some of the Empire's best here. Or about some of the Republic's best here, that's for sure. Um, whoop. And I'm still under attack here, oh boy. The soldiers still, yeah, okay, they're guarding the entrance here. Oh, okay, so we're taking taking it piece by piece and then having um, soldiers come and uh, hold what we've taken. Interesting, I'm not sure why we don't just, you know, all work together and take it all together. That would make sense. But no worries. This is the force to take down. There you go. You guys are all down. Let's uh, recharge and reload a little bit. And we're we're over halfway. We've done our bonus objective. Only 13 more enemies to take out. Good job, Dorn. We got this. I saw some another Sith Enforcer hiding back here. Throw a plasma grenade at ya. Magbolt! Force! Oh, you're casting Force Lightning at me. Okay. You're like, Force Lightning? Wait, that's not my ability. <laughs> that's yours. Oh, I think I can choke them. I think I have that ability right now. If I use my heroic mon moment, which is an ability I don't use very much. Maybe next time I find a boss, I'll use it. Just because I know that lets me use some legacy abilities. Which is kind of cool. But I think you get... Um, if I go to legacy for a second. Uh, character quits reputation general unlocked. Um... The tree note. Character perks? No? What am I looking for? Yeah, yeah, right here. So, essentially, oh, I'd get, um, I've taken a Sith Warrior all the way through with all these guys. Um, what's all this? I've done it with an Imperial Agent. Oh, well. They were my first one I did, so I get, like, Orbital Strike from that. I'd get, uh, um, Lightning from a Sith warrior, choke from a, or choking from a Sith warrior, lightning from a Sith Inquisitor, and a flame shot from a bounty hunter. And I don't think I've done it with any of the Republic classes. Yep. Oh, my Republic classes are locked right now. <laughs> Tells you who I like more, right? Lord Thanos here. Engaging hostile. Thank you for engaging the hostiles for me. Boop. Ooh, what was that? Um, some arm stuff I don't need. Got a comm station this here. This is a maze. I can use some local help. Contacting Captain Kentaris. Corsac is tracking you now. That was showing up, guys. <laughs> They're down. And I've only got a 
five more to take out for my bonus objective. Four here. One more over there. So we're going to finish that bonus objective here, which is nice. Completed bonus mission. All of the experience. Oh, sure, I should definitely hit level uh, level 30 or 65 when I'm done this, which is awesome. Let's get this master cannoneer here. Oh, it's got a Sith Enforcer to deal with. <laughs> Just like crowd control my uh, my Lieutenant Dorn here. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Back there. There we go. Recharge and reload a little bit here. And I need to head this way. You got Lord uh, Grigor here. Take you down. Nice easy kill. There we go. You're down now too. And let's look at this comm station. Who's going to help us this time? Having the force would sure help right now. Hatching through to the Green Gardens. Uploading your coordinates. Thanks, Jedi. Okay, we've got the holdout room consoles, which is right in front of us here. One more of these guys to take down. Oh, no, they're all down. <laughs> awesome, thank you. Some more enemies here, so maybe I'll have to keep fighting, I'm guessing. I assure you, Darth Hadra, this holdout room is impenetrable. The Republic will never break through. Save your breath, Counselor. Even your little hiding place was not immune from the Ion Wall. You've turned the legislature into a battlefield. Is this your plan to lure the Council back to the Republic? It's never too late to admit you were wrong. <laughs> Even with half of Corellia in flames, the Council still stands with the Empire. After seeing the damage to the legislature, I was expecting an army. You should have come prepared. The holdout room is designed to protect and hide the council. There are no comm stations here. All transmissions are blocked. Your allies are out of reach. Can you face me without your precious Republic? You've done everything you can to avoid a fair fight. You're the last obstacle between the Empire and Corellia. I prefer a quick victory. Then you must be thrilled to see us. When I heard you were going after the Council, I rounded up Corsac's best. I wouldn't miss this for anything. Then you've chosen your fate. Those who resist Imperial rule will die by my hands. We've taken down another Darth here. Let's do this. Ooh, nice purple lightsaber. All right, let's take down Darth uh, Hadra here. Let's uh, push you back. Magbolt. Even... Uh, Put an electro thing on ya. Oh, there we go. You are down. What did we get for that? Ooh, a repeating blaster that I can't use. And I don't think you... Oh, you, you can use it. I think it looks the same, but I'll give you the new gun, because it's... Got better stats. <laughs> Alright, so let's talk with the counselor here. Well, counselors, looks like it's just you and your angry constituency now. Acting Corsac Command can arrest heads of state with the Republic's approval. I want all of them. Counselor Balos, too. But I spied on the Empire. I lied to a Sith Lord. I risked my life to help the Republic. You were the first to suggest we join the Empire, Balos. How many credits were you offered to change your mind? Is this true, Counselor Balos? The Empire made overtures, and I introduced them to the Council. 
Does that even matter now? It does to me. It matters to every man, woman, and child who died trying to undo it. The Council made themselves kings at Corellia's expense. They all deserve to be punished. Councilor Bayless got us here. He's more than made up for it. I don't know if I'll ever make up for it, but I won't let a chance to try go to waste. Thank you. I appreciate what he did for us, but you just let a traitor go free. General Aves will want a status update. Give us a minute to restore communications in here. Can you hear us, General? Coming through fine, Captain. Without the Corellian Council's advice, the Empire's falling back on old tactics. They're not working. Once the Legislature falls, the Empire will be vulnerable. I've got several squads ready to push them off Corellia. But they'll need a signal. Broadcast comm in the Speaker's Courtyard. Your signal will hit every comm station on Corellia. If you can reach it... Just give me the coordinates and I'll move out. The Speaker's Courtyard is being protected by Darth Decimus, the last of the Dark Council members sent to Corellia. He convinced the Corellian Council to join the Empire. He won't let Corellia go easy. You won't have any backup here. Corsac's holding the Council. The Green Jedi are defending their enclave, and my men are in position. I'm a soldier. It's not my first suicide mission. Hopefully it won't be your last. Once you've defeated Darth Decimus, Contact me on the broadcast comm. I'll be waiting for your signal. This is it. One Sith Lord between us and freedom. Corellia's counting on you. Alright, I think we can take out Darth Decimus here. Where are we supposed to be fighting you at? Huh, I actually don't know where we're supposed to be fighting you at. That's interesting. Let's head up here for a second. Um, so it looks like we just have, yeah, just the, the Darth to take out and then Corellia will be uh, free from the Sith Empire's grasp, which is awesome. I'm really happy with that. Uh, oh, apparently he was way back there. Okay, well, we'll have to head back there, uh, guys, but uh, that's going to be it for this episode. So thank you guys so, so, so very much for watching. Uh, if you guys like what you see, hit that like, subscribe button. If you don't like what you see, you can hit that dislike button too. But hopefully you guys are enjoying it. And until next time, guys, keep your stick on the ice.